Eliza R. Peroni, uh, DSN1 from Block A. And today I am going to perform administering an intramuscular injection. So the purpose of administering intramuscular injection is to provide client medication that the client is required. So first thing to do is we need to assess. So first thing is to assess the client for any allergies, assess the drug action such as any side effects, adverse effects, and interaction. Then assess the client's knowledge or learning needs of the about the medication. Then assess the tissue integrity of the injection site and assess the client's ability to cooperate. Then assess the age, weight, the site and the size for the injection of the patient. Then we need to prepare for the equipment such as a syringe. So this is a 3cc syringe, an extra needle, some cotton swabs, wet and dry, and then the waste. And then vial and ampule of the correct medication, some clean gloves, some alcohol, and most importantly the MAR of the patient. Next is to check the MAR of the patient as well as the label of the medication. Make sure that the label of the medication is uh, the same as the indicated here in the MAR of the patient. Make sure to uh, take note of the expiration date as well. And then assess the overall condition of the medication. And then organize the equipment. is we're going to perform hand hygiene then prepare the medication from vial or ampule for drug withdrawal so this is a vial So if you are uh, preparing an insulin or heparin medication for the client, make sure to ask another nurse for the dosage of the insulin medication. And this will provide a double checking of the medication to ensure or reduce the risk of medication error. So since I am going to uh, pretend that I am withdrawing an insulin, I'm going to ask another nurse. And then I'm going to prepare the syringe. So suppose we are going to withdraw 2 ml of insulin. So we're going to draw 2 ml of air. then insert the needle into the vial with the bevel facing up
and then make sure to uh, remove the needle and replace it with a new needle. And then replace it with a new needle. This will ensure that the patient will not feel any irritation in the subcutaneous tissue. And then this post this and then provide for client privacy in providing client privacy it usually it is usually done by drawing the curtains or locking the doors and then prepare the client and then introduce yourself to the client and then verify the client so hi good day my name is Eliza Arparoni and I will be your student nurse for today so how are you feeling for today okay so today we're going we are going to be performing or I am going to be performing a administering a intramuscular injection but first I'm going to verify your name so what is your last name sir okay so your first name and then your date of birth okay so next is I'm going to explain the purpose of the medication to the patient so sir I am going to administer an injection which it contains insulin insulin will help control your blood sugar and at first you will uh, feel a slight pinching of the needle as you enter your skin but don't worry this is normal and then the reaction will gradually disappear so sir i'm going to assist you to a relaxable position make sure that you are relaxed and then position the patient to a supine position with flexed knee so suppose I am going to administer this medication in the gluteus medius of the patient. So sir, I'm going to ask it to relax as relaxation of the muscles or the or the muscles will help reduce any discomfort of the patient upon administration of the medication. Next, I'm going to select a site. Make sure that you are not selecting a tender or swelling site make sure that it is not hard and then I am going to apply clean gloves and then clean the site then discard your cotton ball to the appropriate container and then wait for the uh, selected area to dry make sure that you do not uh, do not blow it or fan it using your fingers make sure that you should uh, wait until it is dry or you should let it air dry for uh, a couple of seconds next is to prepare the syringe Make sure to inject the uh, inject the fluid or the medication using the Z technique at a 90 degree angle. And then discard this syringe then ask the patient to hold the cotton ball for them 
and then discard all the supplies appropriately to a appropriate container. And then remove the gloves, then apply hand hygiene. Make sure that you do not massage the area or the injected area so that it does not go, the medication does not go to a inappropriate uh, direction. Next is we're going to document the necessary information. The, in, the documentation should include the drug medication, the dosage, the time it was administered, the route, and the nursing assessments that was done. Make sure to affix your signature. Next is to assess the effectiveness of the medication at a time it is exactly uh, set to act. And then document all of your findings. Next is to conduct an evaluation. In conducting an evaluation, make sure to conduct any follow-ups such as uh, adverse effects, desired effects, or any side effects. And then evaluate on the local skin or tissue reaction on the patient. And then relate the previous findings if it is available. And then uh, note for any deviations from the normal findings and then report it to the primary care provider and then record your findings. <music>